Just a saying hello, I'm Dark Leon and this is Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Uh, if you think that title is time consuming, well, my record crashed for during this recording. 15 minutes in, I lost everything. So, yeah, more time is wasting. Uh, anyway, so, in the last episode, we got some info about the murder of Jack Hammer. And in this episode, we're putting, we're going to cross-examine Wendy Allbag here in this court. So, let's start. The court is an initiation of the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution will show that the court uh, will show the court that at 2:30 p.m. on October 15, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed a fellow actor, Jack Hammer, at Studio One of Global Studios. Wow, that's very nicely. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Ridgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gams, to the stand. Wow. I didn't know I have such an American... Oh. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir, I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand the case, this case is important to grasp the layout of the, the studios. See? Okay, so he will actually explain how global studios are put together. The studio one and studio two, two things we haven't seen studio two yet. And well, we will not get to, to cross-examine him. Really, not not going to happen. He states fact, no, just what happened. Everyone can see, you can see that, well, the studios are placed like this. So, this is the scene of the murder where the body was found. And now on, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and the young woman, the production assistant. Well, and no about that. All of the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then, after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got uh, to the guard station. Now, December hit to later that day, 5 o'clock p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. It was to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30. The samurai spear found lost in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. And I'd like to hear that again? Hmm. Should I listen to the whole thing again? Skip it. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How a devil? Nearly so, Judge. So, Your Honor, the case is quite simple if you ask one question. That question is What did the security lady at the guard station say? Understood? Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare your name? Hmm? My enemy you have some fellow. I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Poor Edward. Your name please? Oh daddy. No need to be worried. no need no. No need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me grandma. Your name, please! Seems Edward <laughs> has a bit of a trouble getting his willingness to say their names. When the old bacteria. So just call me. Oh, fuck. She's having. Objection! 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 I object to the witness to get the net. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from running on the stand. I was just getting to the group part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. 
Well, the leader was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, sir, I was. And get to the scene and get to the scene of the murder. Someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, theory. You may begin your testimony. To show is one hell of an outbag. Ah, fucking hell. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. All poor old Hammer and the rest of has been doing a run through. Wow. I well, I had some errands to run this morning. Anyway, uh, it was one o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until five o'clock. Now the murder happened at two thirty, right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at two p.m. and I was powers. That man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Oh well, it is not start off well for us. So you should have defended then, huh? Very well, let's begin the cross examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So. There's one thing that we must ask you before we actually point out your contradiction, and that is. Oh, no, no, that was it. So, let's press this. Because I find it rather funny. So, you were watching there the whole time. No breaks, not even a second. Of course, I never thought you know. Or are you criticizing how I do my job, Weaver Snapper? Uh, no, it was just after seeing you eat those donuts in the couch session yesterday. And what the gate and it does at the same time? Snipper Whopper! Snipper Whopper? What the fuck is losing it, Nick? Why did you raise an objection? <laughs> well, Mikey can't do that, she's not part of this thing. So, what did you see? Well, the murder happened at 2.30. So, interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by at 2 o'clock, was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. So, something I just want to point out before we, well, continue on. So, in the Game Boy version, you had to, well, present everything by hand. So, um, by hand I mean, well, press se and then press present, but... This game is on the DS, and the DS has a microphone in it. Well, do you see where I'm going on with it? Press Y and say OBJECTION! It will take a little time in this version of the game. In the next games it doesn't take so much time. So, you've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? No, another than Sin Samurai, the friend of New York to Road to Tokyo. Mr. Oldback, Mr. Oldback, Mr. Oldback. Is that Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Tell your mama tells you any sense, Sonny. Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Um, yeah? Hmm, I, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Sin Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <laughs> I I know that. It was important yesterday. Now in this court is accusing you of that, Mrs. Um Greatness. <laughs> he is having trouble calling her Obok apparently. Why he doesn't want to be too rude. However, you do not have proof that Mr. the the person in the photo is Mr. Powers, do you? Ha! <laughs> no the old man. Of course I have proof. Huh? <laughs> wow, even Ned was surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old um the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I know uh, to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed the photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. You didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old Wimbuck has even better speechless. She's good. Yeah, not really. <coughs> Let's hear about your proof then. And I'm dying. The man in the photo. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. The morning, during the, the run through of the action scene, I saw cover strip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he spent his ankle bag. Now, look at this picture. 
You can see he's trying his leg. See? Clear's day. That's how I see the, it, how I knew it was powers. Happy? Mm, not really. Hmm, so he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cause examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press until she squeals. I do not want to hear the old woman squeal, thank you very much. So! Press this statement. Press, press this statement, yeah, thank you. Um... Whippersnapper! Hey, I haven't said anything yet! I hope you know that I'm not pointing fingers at terror behind the bags! Everything I said is on the straight and narrow! They up and up! You stay... Uh, what's this one? What's wrong here? Mr. Wright! Please, for all our sakes, try to not upset the witness. Uh, yeah, definitely. So, soul power, stick and fall. Oh, that's actually important. He broke a prop? So did his own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there to fix my... Uh, I was there with my deck tape to fix it. Yeah, that sure was good idea. I better write this down to the court record. Summer Spear updated on the court record. Apparently, it's been out of bed. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, that's actually that's a bit funny. So, you actually need to press everything, every single statement, but there's no more important or fun statement after this one. He went. Oh, so I can drag in his form. No, that's actually not an important statement. So. He saw, I saw power strip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes, and the thing he's supposed to be the still samurai. What a laugh! So, power sprang his angle. I helped make it better uh, for him, of course. You helped make it better? I killed him where he had. Oh, too much information. Let's just skip over this part, shall we? And the assistant, where was he then? Oh, here? She was just cleaning up back I think. So nothing crazy problems. So just press every single statement and well I'll see you when what's supposed to happen will happen. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is something that bothers me, which is where is the samurai st the still samurai costume now? Actually, well we couldn't find it. We're looking though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes? And it's clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Object, of course. Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but, but we have to agree that this photo shows the steel samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not counted on the camera could have killed Mr. Campbell. I have to con we have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that app from your mind, uh, from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness please continue to tell her testimony? And it was twice. Uh oh, this is not going well for us. Ah, <sighs> anyway, the time of poor Hammer's death was 2:30 p.m. And the only person I saw go through the studio before was Mr. P Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the still samurai, would it? Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the witness. And there's one statement that I need to press. The hand, I would have seen them. Hmm. This doesn't seem right. Are you sure? The witness has asked the question. Anyone going into the studio has to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, Edgy Boy. E edgy Boy? <laughs> Not even Edgeworth likes it. Old Winmark sure has balls. Um, you know what I mean. Old Winmark has a way of skipping over important details after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them? How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? Ah, no, she's not. Well, there. 
So, we got some information that, well, was very important. So, anything, anyone going past him, uh, anyone going to say one has to go past her. But, photo number two. Objection! Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the studios, uh, the gate of the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by there, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Hmm, right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer at the guard station recalls all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted me to if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that the back of the photo the uh, printed was October 15, 2 p.m. photo number 2. Even I know that it means that it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is a bit at the end. Uh, it says photo number 2. Photo number 2? The computer only held data for one photo on the day. Don't you think that odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number 1 if it really was the only photo? Aha! Order! Order! Please tell the call what you mean, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. The evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet, there is only one data of the f uh, there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the other photo? Only someone with access? The security lady herself. Uh, you watch your mom, Whippersnapper. The only person I saw the day was Mr. Will Powers. But the camera on the gate is fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, as that's what it would seem to mean, but can the witness explain this to the court? Um, hmm, I don't understand these new funky computer things. Um, any boy, Seth? Um, believe me, I want to, but I don't know what it means either. <laughs> Some help you are. You're a super snapper too. Weeper snapper? Something the mother missed all back? Ah, uh, that's right. I I just remember something. Uh, let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than still somebody. Um, I suppose you could say it that way. Ah, uh, god damn it. I see. The testimony, please. Every day, after I finish my card duties, I have one important job to do. I go through the photos of the, the, the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Can't think of it. Now I remember throwing out one photo that day. This is all black. This is the first I heard of it. Well, of course, Sonny. I just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright. Please begin your cross-examination, for the sake of all of us. Well, <laughs> saying it was a turn to the, for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Yep, that's right. Maya. Alright, every day. After I finish my graduate, I have one more important job to do. So... We should press the first statement, so... I throw out any photos that are in suspicious looking, you see? How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at the faces for the most part. For the most part. Wow, the logic in this lady is not existent. This is a murder trial, Mrs. Oldback. Well, I don't touch any suspicious I didn't touch that suspicious looking will powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Yeah, she still does. So through one more photo that day. What was the photo shown? Well, who in the heck was in that photo you raised? Hmm, and fanboy. Fanboy? Still somewhere, fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about their hairstyle from girls nowhere. They're always hanging out. One was, one was there that day. Wait a second. Did you just? Say no one else get in, could get in? 
I lost the main jet, so no one else could get in. Actually, you're supposed to get that info from pressing statements, but we didn't get it. Sorry for that. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The gate was, has been loose for a while. It is outside, and well, that's where they come in. <coughs> they come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and. And. The kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids. So, on the photo that you raised, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? Order. Let me get this straight. You said two people passed by the gate on the way of the soda that day. The one was that still samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be around second or third grade. Oh yes, well we see his type every day. Can't stop them, can't catch them. A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible for a young boy to build a samurai spear. Impossible I think. It's quite heavy, how do we know that? Right, as I said, it seemed I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I asked the data. Uh, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there, and that makes him a suspect. Yeah, but they're already trying to unsuspect him. I'd like to take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting valid information this time. <laughs>